day, seven days a week, to help clear a huge backlog of cargo. KKL 9 Stacy Butler has the very latest tonight, as now the search is on for drivers to deliver the goods. This moving billboard offering $37 an hour to truck drivers to transport containers in and out of the port could be a sign of the times. This is the highest pay right now. But truck drivers we spoke with say more truckers at the ports won't solve the bottleneck that has dozens of ships and hundreds of thousands of containers lined up outside the port of Los Angeles and the Long Beach port. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. We Francisco are. Medina says President Biden's latest plan to operate both the Long Beach and the Port of Los Angeles 24 7 is not the answer. A source inside the port says hours have already been extended to 20 hours a day, with four hours for cleaning and refueling six days a week. It's not going to solve nothing. Even if you're there 24 hours working, it's going to be even worse. Why? Because it's just more people kind of come in the terminal and just sit there. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just ridiculous. Medina says he used to pick up three to four loads a day. Now he sleeps in his truck outside the port five nights a week just so he can get in the lineup to load one container a day. If he's lucky, he's not alone. Some days you, you wait in hours just to get in, and the line stretched far all the way back. So that whole thing about truck shortage is, is false. The supply chain debacle didn't start at the Long Beach ports, but these truckers say it could end here if there were more workers inside the terminals, more chassis used to transport the containers, and all cranes inside the terminals, they say, working at all times. Are all the cranes on full operation? No. Even the chassis are just laying around. You know, they stacked up. We need everything wide open, everything. This problem extends well beyond the ports here. Now, big box stores have agreed to hire more staff, and they're extending their hours in their warehouses and in their stores to help unload all the product. In Long Beach, Stacey Butler, KCAL 9 News. Well, we are all paying high.